a uh, few batches not uh, last one or two batches okay earlier batches so uh, they are not talking anything so i have to keep pit up myself on i have to speak and leave it okay so please if you don't understand some point for example i showed something here and i closed it okay so you are unable to see so don't feel shy guys okay so live class is live classes only recording sir recordings only okay recording sir for a mainly backup okay if you are miss some point uh, uh, kind of stuff you can use the recording or maybe sometimes some disconnections sometimes um, uh, unavailable okay? so recordings are useful okay so please be interactive if you have any doubt ask me immediately there is no separate time for a mainly there is separate time mainly no separate time for a, a doubt clarification session is won't be there any time you can ask a question you have any doubt after the class put it in a group only don't send any personal uh, uh, mobile messages guys put it in your group only so this is your group so put it in your group only okay so that is the uh, first thing now so what is our thing is first question what is your system configuration what is your system configuration tell me about your computer computer configuration okay so uh, all these words are system information okay next one is how to check system configuration how to check system configuration the first thing is yes to check the system configuration and uh, telling what is your system configuration you have to tell about your cpu what is your cpu whether it is intel or amd it can be a intel processor or amd processor nowadays people are having both the companies right model for example you may have a i3 processor i5 processor or, or a ryzen processor ryzen processor ethlon processor pentium processor gold processor okay so which type of model it is and uh, generations or a uh, numbers something like that you, you have a generation third generation fourth generation or a model numbers so you can tell a fourth generation currently currently uh, in a intel i3 i5 i7 and i9 12th generation 12th generation released in this year okay 12th generation okay generation mainly the model numbers are important not just the generation the <coughs> the exact what is the number okay uh, 10050 means 10th generation in a, in after 50 there will be f or f a or g m kind of stuff is there so be careful with what it is okay and speed is there okay so clock speed like a 2.5 gigahertz 3 gigahertz 4 gigahertz <coughs> speed is there number of cores possible number of threads number of uh, cores number of threads are uh, logical processors so this is about here cpu okay so when you are talking about a cpu so you may get a doubt uh, sir if i have to tell about uh, uh, my processor so i have to tell this much information if that is your talent okay so you, how much you were able to tell keep it in that much only keep it in that much only okay next ram is uh, also called as a main memory right so check your ram and ram model for example you are using ddr4 model 
now new one is also came the dr5 model is also came okay and the size of ram like a 4 gb uh, 8 gb maybe a 16 gb ram also came right size of the ram it is also there 2100 example i am telling uh, different uh, uh, play, uh, are there 2666 this for example it is also the speed so um, maybe a uh, 2.6 uh, my, my my processor is 2.6 um giga hits plus example this is number of core process four core process logical processor example eight core process okay. next once your cpu ram completed so generally we can find uh, um um Uh, about hard disk try right. uh, hard disk or ssd nowadays some people are using ssds right so you can tell about your hard disk you can try but small part i am writing here it is if possible find out available it is not required that's why i am writing in star mark free disk space so it is not required that's why i am writing like this no need no need to tell about available ram to the interviewer or someone is asking kind for yourself you need it okay operating system means what operating system you are using okay and their versions and all kind of stuff for example i am writing windows 10 uh, home edition 64 bit uh, or uh, any other uh, version version numbers will be there if you want to try you can try also in this one also we have a bit number is there we have a 64 bit uh, 64 bit or a 32 bit processor but 32 era very old now people are not using any latest one if you are using any uh, graphics uh, uh, related then you can also include that so these are the things okay these are the things uh, are points you should recognize first of all you should recognize this information and note down and uh, try to understand what is your computer you know some people will give an idea like uh, so uh, what is your uh, what is the system configuration means uh, my system is lenovo dell or uh, hp or asus computer or maybe there is some number uh, that is a uh, sir uh, it is a 3670 or it is showing in spryan or maybe it is a thinkpad okay so they don't see uh, what is system configured there are using for it a, 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 like a one year two years three years completed but still they don't know what is the cpu and all okay that's why i choose to take the first topic as uh, this one okay so first one is that one only anyway there are the different ways to check the system configuration the first one is task manager okay the it is task manager opening is in a 3 to 2 there is a 2 3 ways are there to open the task manager so there okay so how to check the system config and uh, first one uh, we should know is like a 
task manager ms info 32 dx diag about your pc about your pc uh, um, system info so the, the these are the ways to get to know what is your system configuration once you know your system configuration you have to write down in this manner okay so before going to check why we should check that how to check so before going to that one i want to tell why we should check one second guys So why would should why we require to check the system configuration? OK, not only people are asked the question in entire user. That's why we should know how to check the system configuration, knowing your system configuration. Of course, that is also one important point. OK, so for interview, you should know uh, what is your system configuration, how to check the system configuration. What is your system configuration kind of stuff? We should know it. But here it is. If in case, like uh, you want to install an application, you want to install an application. So you have to check system requirements install application okay you want to install an application so what we have to do it that to check system requirements for example you you, you take a one uh, uh, for example you know i i want to install jenkins Uh, uh, in a DevOps, uh, one of the thing is Jenkins, right? So I want to install a, a Jenkins. So then what I have to do it? So I will check Jenkins system requirements. OK, Jenkins, what are the system requirements? It is showing one GB of dry space in your hard disk. One GB minimum space is required, although 10 GB is recommended if you are running uh, Jenkins as a Docker container. So I'm not using that one. So I have I need a 1 GB of disk space. Free 256 MB of RAM available is required. OK, otherwise you can uh, it is in the Linux, but we have to go with uh, Windows also. So if you are want to install in a Linux minimum RAM requirement. OK, and minimum disk space requirement. This is minimum. But if you see recommended, always go with the recommended. 4 GB, more than 4 GB of RAM is required. More than 4 GB of RAM is required. More than 50 GB of drive is required. So you can go to hardware requirements. Just for example. I'm selecting Windows here. In Windows, you want to install. Same thing only in Windows also. These are the spaces you require. OK, so you could go to hardware requirements to know a uh, better way to know how to install it. OK, so you, you don't know what is how much you have a RAM, how much you are available RAM, how much you are having a disk space. Then how to install and uh, you, you, you see a YouTube video and how to install a, Gen a Jenkins. You installed it and your system become very slow. Then what you will do? Right. You know my brother uh, using a solid box. 
Okay, uh, uh, so he asked me, so I want to install a solid wax, but I'm not able to do it. Then I check what is the system requirements. It is also showing we need a 64 bit processor, AMD or Intel processor, minimum 16 GB uh, RAM, okay, 4 GB or more, something like that it is showing, okay. I don't want any cookies, guys, kind of stuff. Uh, you can see here it is. The supported operating system, uh, hardware com, uh, configuration, not showing. Yeah, uh, waste it is. That much cookies, okay. So, can I run with a 4GB RAM and all? But his laptop is 4GB RAM. We added a 8GB RAM. So we, we so what we know uh, what is this uh, system capacity? So what we have done, it is already 4 GB RAM is there in the laptop. So we what we have done, we added a 8 GB to it. Then it is become 12 GB, including my laptop also same. My laptop is also a 4 GB. Then I added a 8 GB to it. Then it is become 12 GB easily. Because it is necessary to my practicals work. So this is necessary. So un guys un understand. So why we should check? You install a application. Or you are, um, your system is slow. For example, you, your system is slow. Then uh, to speed up like a, to So, upgrade system. Uh, we can say uh, for uh, to troubleshoot, knowing where, where the problem it is, kind of stuff. Okay, for example, your system is slow, you want to upgrade. So, why your system is slow? I should waste to right? Because of enough of uh, the required hardware. So your system is slow. Then what to do? Do you want to upgrade? Do you want to degrade? Just just like a slowing is a one of the next step. to install operating system. To upgrade, to upgrade operating system means you have a Windows 10. I want to upgrade to Windows 11. So how can you? Uh, how can I uh, upgrade to Windows 11? First of all, hardware compatibility, processor supporting, RAM, free disk space is there. Then we can able to upgrade. Installation of OS. Of course, if you forget about this part, then also, so you are installing, you don't have any operating system, but you know what is your CPU, RAM, and disk space, then you can install the operating system. We want to upgrade operating system like a Windows 10 to Windows 11. So what are the minimum requirements you have? So for your purpose, for organization purpose, and for interview purpose also, we should know why to check the system configuration okay so how much load on a system so that based on that you may have required a tr troubleshooting or a upgrading <coughs> my throat is uh, today it's not good what is task manager that how to open this task manager you guys understand up to now i'm keep telling but i'm not adding i'm not asking so what is your system configuration means what are the names you will get it how to check system configuration one by one we will tell but why should why we should check the system configuration the expert of interview questions Okay, why we should be check it? 
Do you understand anything? Yes, sir. Very good. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So I'm continuing from task. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. See guys, it is task manager. How to open this task manager? Very simple. So you can see the search bar where you can type task manager. Okay, so we got a task manager. Or this is a start menu. Okay, this is the start menu and uh, this is search Cortana task view. And this is the task bar not icons. This is a notification area. And so this is a totally called a task bar. In this free space, I'm right click, open task bar. This is universal Windows part. Okay, so if you right click on it, you will get a task bar manager. Right click on a task bar, so you, you can able to see the task manager also. So you can open the task manager from here. This is the task manager. You can go to run if you don't know how to go to run. So Windows R. In the run also you can put a task MGR. It opens. One more option is there that is I cannot tell. I can tell you but I cannot do now because of our screen will be off. That is all control delete. Very good. Okay, so like you want to sign out or you want to lock. OK, you want to search. Or you want to go to task manager. So that is all control delete very useful. Key command. Next you can go to search. They put a task manager. Or go to run. In the command prompt also same. Task MGR. Okay, so this is a task manager. First, open the task manager. You can see process is going on. How much CPU is utilizing, memory utilizing, disk utilizing, network utilizing, and is from GPU, how much it is utilizing. So important one is performance. First is CPU. Can you get, so Intel i5 3230M means it's a third generation. Currently 12th generation, I'm still in a third generation. 2.6 gigahertz processor, 2.6 gigahertz processor. I will take a screenshot and I will show you. I am not saving any screenshot now because already I have a screenshots. So this is my processor number. Intel processor i5 3230M 2.6 gigahertz processor. Virtualization enabled. It's a two core processor. Logical processors are four. Okay. Utilization is 46%. That will be where is always. So like this. 
so virtualization technologies enabled l3 is a 3 mb cache memory so process to process the things will be changes that's why knowing the small details also very good, important for for ourselves but in this one answer is intel i5 processor 3230m 2.6 gigahertz processor 64 bit processor anyway okay so that is my processor next is memory sir what is the difference between 64 bit and 34 bit sir? 64 bit and 32 bit okay yes, sir. okay so in olden days we are using a uh, 32 bit processors now we are using a 64 bit processor difference is in 32 bit processor the processor uh, that related the data and uh, instructions are 32 bit the size of the instruction is 32 bit and in a 64 bit processors the size of instruction is 64 bit instructions are there okay so as compared to 32 64 required more memory more memory like a more ram capacity is required why more ram capacity is required because the the size of instruction is bigger so the the size of instruction is bigger means the more complex the more complex instructions we can able to run the big instructions we can able to run but even a small instruction also we have to write in 64 bit way not only that one guys the 64 bit processor having a certain additional ability like a virtualization technology uefi support means instead of bios it support a uefi okay and um, secure board features are there on a 64 bit processor okay most of the 64 bit is represented in different ways so that's we will see yeah memory i have a 12 gb ram already i told i have a 4 gb by default then i add a 8 gb then it is become 12 gb that's it is showing two of two two of two means i use the two ram slots so there is two ram slots are there one is 4 gb another one is 8 gb speed 1600 megahertz 1600 megahertz speed important is availability ram total ram is 12 gb ddr3 processor okay A ddr3 processor ddr3 processor 4.2 gigahertz processor okay so this is in use this is available ram so just before i showed a uh, uh, jet king uh, jenkins jenkins not jet king jenkins it required 256 mb ram minimum yeah it is more than that one i can install it or maybe required a 1 gb disk space that is we have to check in the disk only okay 4 plus gb is required of course i have 4.0 gb so 4 plus gb is required recommended so i have it okay guys so that is uh, basic uh, kind of stuff so minimum requirement like a uh, yeah. there is a two differences are there one is the total memory requirement or a available memory requirement so you have to check carefully it's a total memory or available memory the 4 plus uh, 4 gb plus uh, recommended uh, kind of stuff is about uh, your total memory okay so 
some ten times it will shows uh, available memory. Sometimes it is stored level. So this is about your RAM. My I have a 12 GB RAM, DDR3. RAM. Of course, I got a um, um, uh, available is 4.2, 4.3, 4 like that. It will changes. If I close uh, some tabs and all, so uh, it, it will come in a normal size. It's a uh, morning. So it is a 4.4, 4.5. Like there is a lot of tabs are there, are necessary open tabs. Okay. Applications. You close an application background, it will increase certain available memory also possible. This is a, an, a hard disk. So it's a capacity is 500 GB. And is that we we can get it? Okay, 500 GB. It's a hard disk, not SSD. Hard disk. Second one, two hard disk I have, so we can check it. So last two points here in this task manager. Wi-Fi. So I'm using Wi-Fi connectivity. So this is packets and sending receiving and you can also see here it is. There is a IP address for this laptop and where it is connected. GPU 2.0 gigahertz. OK, so it is a my. Graphic card model. Nvidia 3230, Nvidia GeForce GT 7200M. GPU means? GPU means? CPU means? Central? Control process unit. Central process unit, right? Okay. CPU central processing unit. That's we call it as a processor. Central processing unit. GPU means graphical processor unit. Okay, okay graphical processor unit or graphic processor unit. Okay, so we call AGP accelerated graphic port. So we put a graphic card in the AGP slot. So then you will get a GPU. So CPU is a plain processor. It contains a, a minimum basic uh, graphic drive points. It means to get a display on the screen. Yeah, graphic processor unit, very good. OK, so there is a small uh, display related uh, memory is there. That's why you can able to see things on a screen. You know, nowadays we are getting a processors without having any graphic memories. So you have to put a graphic card, dedicated graphic card separately. OK, so that is you have to put a graphic processing unit. Then only I can see something on the display. OK. Yeah, so next next point is. You have a CPU. And the, in this CPU only. I'm adding a, a graphic memory internal graphic. OK, so this is sometimes we can call it as a APUs. OK, it means integrated graphics. It is a integrated graphics means CPU plus your uh, GPU, CPU plus GPU. Combined, it is a uh, APUs are a. Um, uh, we can say it is integrated graphics like you want to buy a Ryzen processor. It is a processor come built-in graphic memory. OK. You have a CPU. And go to GPU. You purchase another separate uh, GPU. For example, you need a 4 GB graphics or a 16 GB graphics, something like that. You need it. 8 GB graphic card. Like that, something like graphic card. So what is the use of this graphic card? The Already I told CPU is generally will take care of uh, getting display on the screen 
so because the internally it contains a, a graphic memory subset that's we can able to see the screen immediately when it is booted okay that is integrated graphics and uh, very you can't say graphic memory 100% it is very small graphic memory uh, will be there next one is um, we are using gpu plus cpu what is the advantage it is so your graphic memories like a pictures um, audio video kind of stuff so it is very difficult means already it has to process so many things but you are adding this point to here then it is it cannot accept so the more body than your cpu so what we are doing the graphical things will be carried out by your gpu so graphical machine in it will take care of your multimedia related kind of stuff okay so this is the system configuration checking using task manager alt control delete i cannot do it so then um, we don't do it ms info 32 so i uh, for you i am using a search button uh, uh, usually i will go to uh, by okay. uh, go to run and open but here it is directly open ms info 32 system information so you can see here it is So here it is you can find an operating system windows 10 home edition my processor i5 3230m 6 2.6 gigahertz processor okay two core four larger processor okay so that is my system configuration and this is your operating system and this is your operating system version uh, sir, one question from my side, sir. We can thread door cores, sir. Core what it is, what it is. Sir, uh, how to find the uh, in PC cores and threads, sir? Uh, here it is showing generally. I am showing only cores, but how showing the threads? Threads are uh, nothing but logical processors. Okay, okay, sir. Okay. You can get it from the task manager. Uh, from here also you can get it and uh, there is another few more things are there to know what is your number of logical processor for example you open a uh, um, ms config go to boot advanced options number of processors like this it so you can increase number of cores. Number of cores also you can increase. Okay. Like a generally, even you have a four core processor, you use one only. You can use all four. Four logical processor. Yeah, system info. Correct only. So what is L1, L2, L3? Cache memories. L1, L2, L3 is a cache memories which is built inside your CPU, okay, which fastens your processing speed. So cache memory is giving 3 MB, 4 MB, 5 MB. The higher the cache memory, so it is fast in the processing. It is easy to, you can easily load the data into your processor from RAM, okay? So this is our Windows 10 and Windows 10 version. Okay, so my operating system, I got it. My processor i5 3230M, 2.6 gigahertz, two core processor and four logical processor. Logical processor means number of threads only.
okay bios mod is ufi it is 64 bit processor it's a 64 bit processor and the memory is 12 gb memory is 12 gb not only this you want to know about hard disk memory so you can go to first actually you can go to system summary next you can go to components storage okay disk hard disk this is my first disk and these are the current partitions actually i have two hard disk are there this is 500 gb and this is 1 terabyte okay this is the another way to know the system configuration so you will get to know what is your operating system version processor system type 64 and total memory okay so this is ms Oh, so you can try also with the system information system info also you can try next one is dx diag not to check the system configuration but it is also showing a system configuration okay dx diag is basically diagnostic tool Okay, direct x direct x diagnostic tool okay so it's tell about your graphic cards graphic memories okay so okay, it is open now but also you will get a your system configuration also what is that so what is the date and time what is the computer name and windows 10 windows 10 Home edition single language pack 64 bit processor. And now it is working. So here it is. Look at my system, Windows 10 Home Edition, 64 bit, okay, and build version. Memory 12 GB RAM, Intel i5 3230M, 2.6 GHz processor, four CPUs are there. Means four logical processors because of that one it is showing like that. And it is a DirectX version is 12. It's showing the direct version is, version is 12. Okay, guys, this is all a very useful uh, when you are want to know about a system configuration. So I went to the display. This is my our processor having a Intel HD graphics 4000 in built in processor. And also having a 2 GB. Kind of stuff. Okay, so this is about a graphic card. Sound input and graphics. This is a 2000 is a graphic mode. So this is your system configuration. Okay, so two ways completed. Two ways completed. Yeah, you can go to Windows, see the settings, go to system, about. So here it is also you can able to get what is your system configuration. Intel Core i5 3230M 2.6 gigahertz processor. Okay, next ah. is 12 GB. Install RAM is 12 GB, 
64 bit operating system 64 processor OS is 64 and process 64 RAM is 12 GB and uh, this is the your RAM model and here it is what is your operating system yeah. what is your version so when it is uh, installed same information you will get what happens sounds but no voice check your mics guys please Okay, same thing. You can open with uh, about your PC kind of stuff. Why it is not working? something has happened to PC. Okay, so try about your PC kind of stuff. Yeah, last one is MS Info 32. Info. So this command will gather the system configuration. It try to show the system configuration, like a Hyper-V requirements is for our computer. Okay, see this is my IP address. Uh, here my virtualization part. Uh, mind is not setting. So uh, yes, yeah, see it is my RAM. Processor, processor information not good. Not main important is clearly not showing something. It is showing only like this. 64 bit processor. Your operating system. Your version. OK, that is a command, but still why uh, this about system about. PC not working. I don't know what happened. OK, so this is the ways to check the system configuration. OK, so once you find the system configuration, you have to not down again. OK. My CPU system configuration is I got Intel. I5 processor is a wall processor, but still good. 3230M. 2.6 GHz processor. Sixty-four bit. 2 core. So logical process. The total RAM is 12 GB. So 4 plus 8. The available is above 4 GB. What is? I have 500 GB and uh, this is a file explorer, right? So go to this PC, you'll find your drive, C drive, F drive, D drive, E drive, like that. Okay, currently it is a 500 GB available memory, so after checking you can get it properly. 500 GB. Next operating system, you know that one, Windows 10 Home Edition. Uh, graphics, I have a graphics, right? Okay, 
Okay, voice, Windows 10, graphics. So that part also you can tell. So 2 GB. Okay, so what is your operating system? What is your graphic memory? Like this is basic of system. This is also 64 bit operating system. Uh, also, you can verify how much RAM available, RAM available, how much uh, uh, disk space is available. So, this is your system. This is my system configuration to so try on your own. Okay, guys. So, any doubts or anything, please tell me. Stop recording.